Hey everybody, it's Mark again, and uh, I'm working on the uh, Johans uh, German 1917 uh, mantle clock, and I told you that the uh, the catch for the spring has broken off, and um, I've done this successfully in another clock where I watched a YouTube video, and what they do is they take a nail, and they grind the nail head off. So it fits into the spring, and then they cut the nail off so they can put it into the hole, and um, and then uh, ping the nail so it doesn't come out of the hole. But in this case, the hole is too big, and uh, I've tried a few nails. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill another hole into this barrel. Uh, that way the nail, when I push it into the hole, it fits snugly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. Okay, I got my hole drilled. And it fits snugly into the barrel. So now, uh, what I need to do is grind this head off so the head fits into this spring. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, off camera, with my Dremel. And uh, a lot of people, so, well, some people complain that I do some things off camera. Um, if you can't figure out how to grind the head off of a nail, um, then you shouldn't be working on clocks. Sorry to say that. And I do things a little bit differently from, uh, uh, the video. I bent part of the head down. And I think in the video they, they cut the nail head off and they put a groove in. But I'm going to leave the nail head on. And I bent part of the nail head down. That way, when I stick it into the hole, they're trying to do this with a camera in front of me. I gotta grind a little bit of this off because I damaged it. When I bent the nail head over. With that nail head bent over, it leaves the other part of the nail head open so it could catch the spring. And so now I need to cut the nail off so I can ping it. So stand by. Now I got the nail head cut off. And I got a socket that fits just perfectly inside this uh, barrel. That way I don't damage the barrel as I ping this nail over. Or what's left of this nail.
I'm making sure that my nail head is where I want it to be so I can finish pinging the nail over. And there you have it. Now that will, the barrel spring will hook to that nail. And so, let me go ahead and put it in. keeps turning on me. There, it's started. I'm sorry, you guys didn't see any of that. I said I got it started, and so uh, I'm winding the spring back in the barrel. And when you get to this point, you get all this uh, spring up in the air, you can go like this, and it flattens all that spring out. So now I can put the cap on, and uh, after I lubricate the spring. But anyway, this portion of the job is done and i hope y'all enjoyed it uh, please leave me comments and god bless